Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you how to make aesthetic notes in Notion. But before we begin, I just wanted to say that thank you for your support because we just reached a new milestone. Wow! Again, thank you so much. And just a disclaimer, I'm gonna show you how to make your notes aesthetic in Notion. And it does consume time, so it's up to you if you want to try it and level up your notes. So anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So if you haven't seen my previous video on which I showed you how I made this, my Notion setup, I will link it down below or up here in the iCard so you can check it out. So this is what my subject page looks like. It's just a simple setup so that I can easily navigate between each topics. So I will show you two options on how you can make your subject pages. This is the first option wherein you're just gonna add pages in each chapters. And I organized them inside a toggle list. So in here, I added date, pages used, and in this part, you can add your notes. So in each of my subject pages, I added some properties such as the unit of the subject and our schedule in that particular subject. So by clicking here, you can pick an option that you've included. If you want to add a property, just click the Add a Property option. Then you can choose a type of property. So Notion has different options in here. Then you can rename it. I'm just gonna delete this because I don't need this anymore. So to achieve this type of font, after you typed the word, highlight it, then click the Mark as Code option and you can choose the color you want. So after that, you can fill in here the name, contact details of your instructor, and you can also put your subject's syllabus here. So it's up to you if what you want to include. So you can also add notes that your teacher reminds you whenever you have his or her class. So for the heading, you can use header 2, then type in the word. And if you want to put a background color, just click on it, and then choose the color option, and pick the color you want. So to make a column, Make sure that there is a blue vertical line that will appear. Add the toggle option so that your notes will be in place and your subject page will not be cluttered. So just click on the page. You can add here the date and name your page according to your discussion or according to your topic. So for my second option, you have to add a database. So choose the list inline type database and then drag it inside the toggle by clicking the six dots beside it. Rename the database, then click on the first page. And that is how you can make your notes page in Notion. Now let us proceed on how you can take aesthetic notes in Notion. So you can copy and paste notes from your PowerPoints or ebook. So I just got this from our ebook and I just copy pasted the important parts. So for my first tip is to include first your raw notes. So in here, I finished making my raw notes. Now I will make it student friendly, I think. So in here, I decided to choose an icon first that represents the topic, so I just choose Earth. You can also adjust the columns. Again, to make one, make sure that when you drag it, there's a blue vertical line that will appear. So in here, I decided to make this ordinary text into a heading. So to do that, just press slash and type turn H2. It will then turn into a header 2 and you can change the color so that you can easily identify it. After that, just highlight those key points of your notes. You can also add some images to your page. You can search some on your files. So here I just use the one I downloaded earlier and you can resize it. So make sure to use a different background color on your terms, headings, and etc. You can use a shortcut key to apply directly the previous color. Just press Ctrl Alt H. Also, you can easily relocate those lines by clicking the six dots beside it. And you can add a divider, but personally, I prefer to use a background color as my divider. By pressing slash and turn toggle, you can turn a plain text or a sentence into a toggle. So in here, I just highlighted the words that I want to be inside the toggle. And after that, I will drag them there. So I'm just gonna highlight the other words. And again, you can also embed a link to your page. Go! 
in here, I pressed backspace multiple times. After that, I highlighted it. Next, I click the mark as code icon and change the color. So I will also do that to the other side. Just copy and paste it and adjust if you have to delete or add more spaces. Next, I will just put some sunflowers to both column headers. And I'm just going to turn this into a header 3. You can also add some files to your page. And you can use the call out option to emphasize a certain part of your notes and change the icon. If you have some more time, you can put some widgets on your page. So search for indify.co. I will also link it down below and choose your preferred Notion widget. So here, just use the clock widget and you can also pick a specific clock type. After that, copy the link below and embed it to your Notion page. And you can also resize it the same as with your photos. And this is what it looks like so far. So here, I just added a line and move it at the top so that I can include here the table of contents. So search for advanced blocks, then choose the table of contents option. So it will then show you those words that are written as a header. And by clicking one of the headers, it will show you where it locates. So I'm just going to put this inside the toggle so that it will be less cluttered. And you can also add a cover photo here. So I just use the photo from Unsplash. But you can embed a photo or choose from your device. So in highlighting words, you should have a dedicated color to your titles, definitions, terms. So for my header, I just use the color yellow. For my terms, I turn it into a header 3 and I use a pink background. So blue background for definitions and so on. So this is the after. So thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. Again, thank you so so much for supporting my channel. Yeah, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!